Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play the song called Fake Love by BTS, okay? In this lesson, I'll be teaching you my favorite section is this awesome section that appears throughout the song, it goes like this. Okay, here we go. Okay, we're just double checking how many parts we're gonna break it up into. So, uh, yeah, okay, there's four parts, but it's actually extremely easy. This lesson's gonna be really quick because there's uh, like three of the parts is actually exactly the same thing, okay? So, anyway, the first part is the important part because the first part is the part that repeats three times throughout, okay? So, here we go. First part goes like this, right hand starts on the D here, middle C's here for reference, go up an octave to this C, D right there, that's where he starts. So it goes two D's, and then E, and then F, E, F, F, and then two more F's, and then here we have a lot of E's, we have um, seven E's in a row, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then F, E, D, just like that. And that is the first part for the right hand, okay, so remember, Write it down on a piece of paper if you can't remember it, okay? So one more time, so it goes like this. D, D, E, F, E, F, 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 E, 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 F, E, D. And that's the right hand for this first part, okay? So yeah, once you get that left hand, we have four chords, four very important chords because these four chords are repeating throughout the song. Okay, so the four chords are B flat major, B flat D, F, Second chord is C major, which is C, E, G. And then third and fourth chord are both D minor chords, which is D, F, A. It's two of them. Okay? So yeah, with these four chords in mind, so B flat major, C major, and two D minor chords. Remember them because these four chords are the four chords repeating in this particular order throughout like all the parts in this lesson and also the song. Okay? So yeah. Okay, remember that? One to do, two hands together for this first part goes like this. Right hand starts first. F and B flat major together. First E and C major together. E and D minor together. After that, D minor by itself. Just like that, okay? One more time, so it goes like this. Together. 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 Here. Yeah. And that's that, okay? So, the second part uh, is actually exactly the same as the first part, so we just repeat it. Yeah, so that's why I said the first part is important, because the first two parts are actually exactly the same. And then, let's move on to the third part. The third part is the thing that is only different here. So, right hand continues, goes three Ds, up to G, 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 and then three more Gs. One, two, three, G. And repeat that again, D, 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 G, 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 F, like that. Okay, so that's the right hand for this uh, third part, okay? So essentially it's this, uh, how, uh, let me see, six, ten note motive repeated two times uh, in total, uh, or played two times in total, I mean, so there's 20 notes in total for this third part. So it goes D, 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 G, 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 F, and then D, 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 G, 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 F. So that's the right hand there. Okay, the left hand is exactly the same thing as the uh, the other, as I said. So it's just the four chords. So B flat major, B flat D, F, C major, which is C, E, G, and D minor twice, which is just D, F, A, so two of them again. Yeah, so pretty simple stuff. So with these four chords in mind, the two hands together goes like this. Right hand starts first, it just goes, and then G, the first G and B flat major together. And G and C major together. Okay, and then it continues. Together. Together. Like that. Okay, just like that one more time, it goes like this. Together. 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 Just like that. 
I can. See, a pretty simple stuff again. Okay. Okay, so that's the third part. So back to back, the three parts we've learned so far, we play like this. Check it out. part is actually exactly the same as the first part, so you just repeat the first part like Simple stuff, right? That's why I said the first part is so important, because the first part is essentially the second part and the fourth part, okay? All you need to do is learn the third part. Yeah, and that's that, okay? So, yeah, so after you can play everything, all the parts very smoothly, even very connected and stuff in terms of the notes and also the rhythm, then you can think about doing these a uh, couple of patterns. Well, the example, the left hand can do some like kind of like, rhythmic pattern on the chord, like that. Okay, you can play it like yeah, and then put it together with the hand. on the melody and the chords okay so yeah that's how it works because um my method this melody and chord method allows a lot of freedom for your playing you can make up your own arrangement but obviously you need to learn how uh, all the patterns and improvisational techniques and decorations work but I teach all of them in my piano courses uh, check it out if you want to learn more piano from me from my um, um, piano website bestpianomethod.com it's linked in the description below you can check it out for yourself okay if you want to learn more but anyway you can still learn from my youtube alone with these type of piano tutorials this melody and chord tutorials on youtube uh okay so like basically i have like multiple thousands and thousands and thousands of videos for you to enjoy and learn from on youtube alone so you can just check it out on my youtube okay so you can search up a song name in the search bar a song name a master and you find if i've done it or not okay i've done a few other bts piano uh covers and tutorials as well so if you're a bts enthusiast you can check that out just search up bts amos doll and you find out all the stuff i've done for bts okay but anyway yeah that's pretty much it so i hope you enjoyed this lesson enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time i'm glad you made it to the end of my video now you can visit my website to learn how to play this or any song you want through my methods explained through books and courses. Or just get me to make a full song video lesson or sheet music transcription on any song you want using my customized services. As for now, enjoy your time on my channel, subscribe and see you next time.